Goa Chief Minister Pramod Savant on 18th June Sunday announced the state's class 11 syllabus will include chapter of the Goa Revolution Day. 18 June marks the day when Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia gave a clarion call to the people of Goa to fight against Portuguese oppression. The Goa Revolution Day, also known as Karanti, then was, com uh, was commenced at Panjim Zadat Maidan on Sunday. The CM said the importance and history of Goa's Revolution Day will be included in the 11th standard curriculum. The chapter on curriculum robot will also be added to school curriculum. The 88-year-old freedom fighter Gurudas Kunde, the president of the Goa Freedom Fighters Association, was also present on the event. It was following his appeal that the government accepted to include the history of Goa's freedom struggle. He also said the BJP government don't want to delay freedom fighters' pension. The government said that there's only 15 or 20 people left. So we are not having the votes, but our principles are intact. It is a very funny thing to say because the BJP was in power for a long time in Goa and suddenly they only realized they have to do this. On this day, on 1946, distinguished nationalist and freedom fighter Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia arrived in uh, Margoa. His rousing speech called for actions by Goans against the persecution of the Portuguese tyrants echoes in there to date. And also they are all also including one more chapter about the Goa Inquisition what happened when Portuguese entered India so they were to teach about it because what Goa so Goan support under the Portuguese is totally totally inhuman the Portuguese when they uh, came they wanted to impose only their religion Christianity ordered all temples within the colonies to be shut it uh, this marked the uh, beginning of the persecution of the local Hindus Jews and already existing Christians in the place Many of the records were burnt by the Portuguese after it was abolished in 1812, depriving Indian people of learning of the exploitation. But there were authors like Richard Zimbler that had documented the persecution of non-Catholics at the hands of Portuguese in his book Guardian of the Dawn. He said it is a machinery of death. A large number of Hindus were first converted and then persecuted from 1560 all the way to 1812. The Sadists built hundreds of prison cells in order to accommodate fresh victims. 70 records of public penance were recorded. In the initial years, over 4,000 people were arrested and 121 were burnt alive at the stake. Hindus were publicly burned at the stake outside cathedral during ceremonies and they were forced to conform for heresy. But many of the things which come out which is actually very hard to read. Often Hindu children were baptized and indoctrinated by the fathers. Hindu children and family were kidnapped and forcefully baptized. They were tortured, they were forced to eat beef. Many people ran away to other areas of India. By 1559, more than 350 temples were destroyed. Idol worship was banned in uh, private. Lakhs and lakhs people were converted and by, by the time Goa got independence from uh, Portuguese, there was around 75% of Christians in Goa. Today it dropped down to 25% because most of them immigrated to Portuguese because they were either fearing for their lives or they didn't like being in India. But still, there's a sad state of India at that time. And the Indian government also only took Goa very late into India, only in 1961, while they should have taken it in 1947 itself.